I usually don't drink coffee, but today I was feeling low energy and so I, I needed something to trick my brain into thinking I want to be alive. So I'm drinking some coffee and I have a couple things I'm going to do today. So I wanted to sit down and design a pattern with you guys. I did a community poll on YouTube to see what kind of Halloween themed pattern you guys might be interested in. So I put a spider, a crow, and a bat. And a majority, let me see, 46% of you guys out of 60 votes said you were interested in a chubby crow plushie. So I'm gonna be designing that crow plushie with you guys today. Um, I have a sketch ready. Okay. And it's like, it's basic, it's a basic sketch, but basically it looks like this. It's a little chubby crow with a witch hat to make it more Halloween theme. And, and then I put another poll on my Instagram asking what kind of size people prefer. Both of these um, I've done a tutorial for and I have a little mini shark and then I have this penguin, but it looks like it's a 50-50 between the sizes. So I'm gonna do the mini one for the tutorial. That way it's faster for me to film. I'm gonna kind of use this as a base because I do like, I like the size and the shape. I want it to be no so. I'm really trying to make more of my patterns either no so or low so just because I know people enjoy those more. Oh, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys um, a pattern test I did recently. It's a little baby bat. It's so cute. I made it out of um, the velvet yarn. I really love the shape, especially the wings. I think the wings are so fun. And it's like a new technique I learned while making this, so I really enjoyed that. Also, I added some... I don't know, it doesn't really pick up on camera very well, but I added some pastel here and on the tip of the ears, the wings a bit, so it looks like it's blushing. And I like how small it is. Usually I use blanket yarn so that my plushies come out pretty big, but if I use velvet yarn, it's just like a tiny version. It's so cute. This pattern is by Ducky Crochet Co. on Instagram, and I think it's been released already by the time this video is out. So if you're interested in making your own bat, go ahead and check that out. I think I will have this up on my shop in the next drop for next month. Basically, when I get started with a pattern, I do the sketch, which I already did, and then I like to use one of my other plushies as a reference for size, for how big I want to make it. And basically, I'm going to try to do it a similar size to this one for the mini version of the crow. So I have that pattern already and I used it as like a base for this. So I just copied that pattern over and I adjust it. So I removed all of the color changes in the pattern. I'm gonna show you. So this is what I have in Canva. Basically the basic shape of what I'm trying to make. I'm gonna add in bobble stitches. So. Using this as a reference, again, I want the bobble stitches to be like here. And I can see that it is about, I think, row five. I think I'm going to put the bobble stitches in row five. So then I just add that into the pattern. So basically, I estimate what I would need in the pattern. I'd write it down and then I start freehanding it. I want the crow to be like, fluting kind of so I think about six stitches apart I would put the bobble stitches and then pattern designing is kind of like just you gotta put a little bit of math in here I am not the best at explaining these things but if you have any questions about pattern designing please leave me a comment below and I'll try my best to answer that. I basically learned how to design patterns by doing a bunch of other people's patterns and kind of my mind got used to how all the rounds and the stitches work. So that's what I would recommend you first do is just try all the patterns. Then you will get used to how to make certain shapes 
and what like different kind of stitches look like. I'm gonna start crocheting six single crochet. I'm not down for six single crochet. I want the top of the head to be, I guess the shark. I tried to make it pointy, but um, for the crow, I want it to be like a smoother top of the head. <laughs> More round. So I'm gonna change that to eight single crochet. So I need to increase the round from eight stitches to 12 stitches. That's four extra stitches. That's four increases, right? So then I use my brain. I'm like, what's 12 divided by four? That's three. And then an increase is two. So one increase plus one single crochet is three times four is 12. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Seven and eight. And then I pray that the ring closes. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I just redo it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the yarn hates me today. I did it. Usually the start of crochet is usually the hardest, but a few rounds in, it's much easier. I'm gonna start this and get back to you guys when it is, like I'm at the bobble <laughs> stitches. Okay, so I realized I was thinking of the pattern like upside down. So actually this is like the top of the head. I won't get to the bobble stitches until like, I decided round 11. I just finished round 10. Um, it's just this. So I'm gonna start round 11 and that's gonna be the bobble stitches. Do a bobble stitch. stitch I will change back to black looks like a potato <laughs> black potato it's pretty similar what do you think should I add one more round and I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it how it is and then we're gonna just see we're gonna see I can always redo it I'm gonna close this up um, and I decided not to use safety eyes because I want to try to embroider eyes because I, I usually don't embroider. I'm just interested in trying. Why not? I think that would be a cute effect also because black safety eyes on black yarn, you can't really see it anyways. Okay, so I finished the crow. I gave, it's completely no so. So I have the wings, the little flappy wings. The feet are um, bobble stitches, and then I directly crocheted the beak, the wings, and the tail as well. So completely no so. I'm excited about that. And then I just need to make a hat. I really like the white embroidered eyes, actually. It gives it... Oh, sorry, there was cat hair on there. But I think the white eyes give it a more of a creepy kind of vibe going on. Yeah, I'm happy with the shape and everything. I'm just gonna add a little hat on top so that it is a witch crow. It's finished. The little crow with the hat. I'm gonna stand out of the way because of my shirt is black. Can you see? Ta-da! I'm excited. I'm gonna make this into a tutorial. I'll probably film that tomorrow. But, ah, uh, completely no so, except um, if you wanna attach the hat, you can sew that on, but look. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I designed and made this um, 
Chubby Crow for Halloween. And this tutorial should probably be out by the time this video is out. Super, super happy with how this came out and I'm excited to, I'm excited to design more no sew patterns because I know people really like those. So I got my first order from my plushie drop. Um, it's my biggest order I've had of my plushies so I'm super excited about it. Um, Emma from Texas, she bought the flower dragon, the black Sheba, and a tabby cat keychain. So thank you so much for your purchase. I'm gonna pack that up for you right now. This floral dragon was definitely a favorite of mine to make. I usually don't make two of any plushies except keychains, but maybe I should make another variation of this one. I also like this Sheba. The pattern hasn't been selling much, but I think it's so simple and cute and I wanna design more dog patterns in the future. And this keychain, of course, is based on my cat Mika, so love that. Then I also included this flower charm as a freebie. I think it's super cute how all the colors match, like on the flowers and the Shiva's collar. I think that's so nice. So here I'm just setting up my supplies on my little Ikea table and I just have some stickers, tissue paper, and these really cute bags that I put my plushies in. So as you can probably tell, my branding color is purple, specifically lavender. But when I was looking for supplies, I just had to get the closest color to like a pastel purple I could get. My favorite color is actually jade, but I think lavender gives us such a calming and comfy vibe. Like when you think of the smell of lavender and the flowers, I think it's just so nice. And I hope my customers feel that way when they open up my packages. I do want to invest in more personalized packaging, but I do need to budget out some money for that. Maybe I can use some colorful tape, and I do want to design my own stickers to use, like with a bunch of bunnies and cats and florals. Also, a cute business card with all my information, and I love writing out personal notes. I think it would be so cool to design an envelope, matching paper, or a postcard or an art print to write my note on and sign. I have so many cute ideas. I can't wait to upgrade all my supplies, hopefully soon. I do have plans to expand my business beyond crochet. I've always wanted to make like stationery and design cute but functional products like planners, desk mats, bags, maybe even electronics or like the cases for electronics. There's so many things I wanna make and do and share. And I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that, but I'm just gonna keep manifesting, putting in the work, and learning as much as I can. Thank you all for being here and supporting my dreams. I promise if you stick around, you'll see me and my tiny business grow so much. And a very big reason will be because of you guys. So I'm so thankful for you being here and I'll see you in the next one.